Lake Corsair 2x6 arch. It's going to be brick in the arch, and I was going to show you a little bit about what we've done so far. I've insulated the bottom all the way in the back and the sides. One of the ways I was able to get that profile, that cut, made a template out of cardboard and just laid it on my just laid it on my insulation and cut that profile out. Started now bricking uh, this arch. Run. Oh. All right. So just in case you haven't done this before, I used to be a, a mason back when I was a boy. <laughs> Ruben's laughing at me. I used to lay block and brick and stuff. Also used to mix mud and things. But what I'm doing here is just trying to give you an idea of what it might look like to smear up some of these blocks, these bricks. Smear up some of these bricks. So you only have about a, you only need like an eighth, eighth inch mud joint on these you can go together pretty close but that's you don't put any on the back side you only put the mud on where it goes against the other brick and you want that joint to be full so like that there and then you can just take your towel and smear off and you just want this to be full I'm gonna no gaps and that's going to help hold it together for you it doesn't have to look pretty and that doesn't but it's about nathan's mud joint i did put some on the end there probably didn't have to about nathan's mud joint you can see down at the other side there but that's about what you want to do just the ends of the brick as they go together all right the first course is mudded in place. We're ready for the second course, and you can see Smoky Lake. Thanks, Jim, and you guys for sending us good directions here. This really helps a lot. You can see, like, here's course two or layer two, and the sizes of brick, and there's an index back to to show you what size it's. This is really helpful. It's really not hard work, so we'll keep going here. All right, we finished bricking it up. And this is what it looks like at the end of the day. Look on the back side. Coming up. And here's a close up of all the sides. You can see on the back, the thicker block are the first two courses, the thinner ones, uh, the thinner brick set on those. And that forms a little bit of a ledge. This is the way the bricks fit together. Again, your top course is a thinner brick. The first three on the sides are thicker. Of course, this is your other side. And don't forget the front under the door, there's two thinner bricks, fire bricks that go there inside your grates. There you go. All bricked up. Here we have the rail gasket on. And that's the insulation that goes on top of the arch. And that prevent or makes a seal uh, between your pans. And the arch so cold air doesn't get sucked up into your pans decreasing the boil the other thing that we put on here right now is the belly pan you can see this is just a diversion a hood scoop that will divert the hot air up into the pan that sits on top so the the, the hot air will come up go up over and then up into the pan and then be pulled up through into the chimney. The pan did not come with the arch. I think it was a mistake somewhere or another, but Smoky Lake did a great job in getting it to me um, just 
as soon as I notified them, they had it coming my way. I really appreciated that. Thank you.